Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here to tipping the review for One Punch Man episode 15. All of this episode is truly about is more hype for Gyro as we watch him go ham on many heroes within this episode. And I think the top level that he faces within this episode was an S bottom rank S class, but like I said previously. We do see him go through quite a few heroes within this chapter, um, including Golden Ball, and I forgot about previously, you know, the, the Usopp, if you will, <laughs> of One Punch Man, and that guy with the, um, with the fencing sword, I forget what they're called, um, as well, but like I said, the highest, highest we see him fight within this episode is a bottom class. S bottom rank S class. Can't remember the number, but still is very impressive. So and he's working through all these opponents very easily. And as I'm watching the episode, I'm thinking to myself, who would it take to give him a challenge besides Saitama? Because we know Saitama will see it in the episode. <laughs> and he is done for. But yeah, but besides Saitama, just who would be able to fight? Gyro right now and give him a good decent fight. Uh, we see in this episode that Bang, Silver Fang, and Bro or will be have the they've already started heading out to find Gyro to beat him. And now a thought came to mind when if when and if they come face to face, will Master be able to be Ex disciple, and now it's funny because I'm thinking when they finally do meet face to face, it will come at a point where Gyro has gotten stronger. And now, there is, if I'm remembering correctly, when it came to the teasing and the promos and stuff, there was always this line about stronger becoming stronger. And now, I think that's really all what Gyro is about. He's all, and I think he was mentioned in the previous episode as well. Now, like, I'll come back stronger, I'll come back stronger, I'll come back stronger. So I think when they finally do meet face to face, a master and disciple will be at a time where Gyro has the um, surpassed the master. I do reckon, however, that if they met now, like within this episode, this is a point within this is a point where Gyro, no, Gyro, not Gyro, where Silver Fang is still stronger than Gyro, still able to beat him. Solo, I'm not too quite sure, but definitely with the help of his brother. And something that makes me think this even more is that the, the fact, especially, not especially, but the fact that within this episode, we have that whole thing with where Silver Fang and his brother are making it to the place, it, to the place where Jai was previously, but you know, just missing him. That kind of, all those things makes me think that right now, Master could be disciple, but when they finally do meet, it will be a time where disciple can disciple can be master. So there's that. Uh, we also find out about this tournament that Saitama is going to be fighting in. Obviously, not under his name, he'll be taken under the guise, the disguise of someone else, or the, another one of Silver Fang's disciples. But that's, I think, where we're heading, where I think we might be going into, like, maybe, like, a tournament tournament kind of type arc where we have all these different heroes fighting in the tournament. From, I don't know, maybe some are doing it for the money, maybe some are doing it for the fame. Maybe there's something of in there they can go up in rank. And Gyro will be there as well, and maybe that's where we'll get, like, Silver Fang versus Gyro. So that's why I think we're heading. So regarding the whole fact that Saitama knocked out Jairo unconscious within this episode, that was funny. That was funny, but that's not <laughs> that's not the main thing I want to mention. The fact the fact that he's unconscious should lead to him getting captured. That's what you'd automatically think. But yes. Like the the after him, the hero associations after him, but I don't think this is highly known. 
public knowledge. And the reason why I say that is because we have, it was a little kid, but still, we have a little kid and like he didn't know who Jairo was. So I reckon that what is going to happen now is that Jairo regains unconsciousness before he can be captured, it be it via, via like, you know, police, like government or another hero. Another hero. So that's what I think is going to happen regarding, regarding that. So, yeah, I feel like I've got to say about this episode. For sheer enjoyment value, I'm going to give it a four star rating and call it a review. Like, of course, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day. Thank you.